So let's start with the union of sets. If we have a universal set U and we have a set A in it and we also have a set B in it, the blue one is A and the green one is B. So let's try to find the union of A and B. So if we start with A, we'll cover this ground and if we add to it this set B, we'll find A union B. So A union B is everything that is blue or green. So this region that's shaded. But what if we started with B? What if we first shaded this region? We have this covered and then we add to it A. So now we are finding B union A. Notice that both of them have the same shaded region. We can say that this is equal to this. Or we can say that A union B is same as B union A. Now it's very important to understand these results visually. But because for some reason they're called laws in our textbooks, I'll also write them down as well. This one is called the commutative law. Let's look at the next one. You have this universal set U, you have your set A in it, and you have your set B in it, and you have a third set C in it. So let's first take A and B and find their union. We have A union B. This is the region that we get. This is A union B. And now if we add C to it, this is what we get. The entire shaded region, which is either blue or green or orange, is A union B union C. A union B union C. But if we take a different order, let's say we start with B and C, this is what we get. We have B union C, this is the shaded region. And now if we add A to it, this is what we get. You can see that both of them are equal. This is A union B union C. And because both are equal, we'll put an equal to sign. This is equal to this, which means this is equal to this. And this is called the associative law. Let's keep going. This is our universe. This is A. Let's say we find the union of A and Phi. Phi is our empty set, which has nothing in it. So what do we get when we add everything that's in A with nothing? So think about it. When you add nothing, nothing changes. You started with A you're still at A. So A union phi should be equal to just A. These two should be equal. So A union phi is the same as just A. This is called the law of identity element phi. Identity means nothing changes. So law of identity element means when you take the union of any set with phi, you get the same set. Let's keep going. You have the universe and then you have A and then you have another A. So basically you'll have A on top of A. You're basically making a copy of A and you're finding the union of both of these sets. So if you find the union of A and A, what do we get? Think about it. You have everything in this blue region combined with everything in this blue region. What do you get? Well, you get the same blue region. So A union A should be equal to A. A union A is equal to A. And this is called idempotent law. Let's keep going. Here we have the universe and here we have the set A. Let's say we find the union of A and the entire universe. We take everything that's inside A and add everything that's inside this universe to it. What do we get? Well, we get the entire universe. Because we're covering the entire ground, we get the entire ground. So A union universe should be equal to the universe. So A union universe is the same as the universe. I mean, I'm saying universe, but it's called the universal set. This is called the law of U.